Hello! Sorry if I sound a bit bunged up and nasally in this video. I've had cold after cold, but I didn't want it to stop me from filming. But yeah, I might just sound a bit annoying because... Yeah. So today I just wanted to show you everything that I've made this year. Some of it's crochet, some of it's knit. Um, most of it was made towards the end of the year or like end half of the year so from like August to December. Didn't really do much making at the beginning of the year um, but yeah I just thought I would show you everything that I've made, talk through the ones that I really love and the ones that I don't like so much. Um, yeah I'll get to it. So I'm not going to go in any particular order of like when I made it, I've just got a pile of stuff in front of me and I'm just going to pick it up at random. So I'm going to start out with this tie up bandeau top. This was to be honest made with leftover bits of yarn so it's got some pink, it's got some orange. I do really like it as a style, I love randomly changing colours. That's something that you'll see more of in a bit but like yeah I just love the like random mix of colours and no particular order to it. The only thing I would say of this one is that it is quite a small summery bandeau top but it is crochet. So it kind of makes it a bit hard to wear because like if it's really hot you probably don't want to be wearing something like made of wool or yarn um but also you wouldn't wear this in winter so that's kind of like the main problem with this top but i did wear it when i was in italy um and i don't remember really sweating too much in it but i think i was just wearing it like lazing about um but yeah little bandeau tie up so this next one is one of my favourites, it's this striped jumper. I think the colours are sage and eucalyptus, I'm not quite sure on the lighter colour but I know that this darker one is a eucalyptus shade. We'll go with sage and eucalyptus but yeah I just love the style of this jumper, it's a top down raglan style sweater so really really easy to make but yeah I think the colours go so well together, I just love wearing it, I think it really suits me. So yeah that is one of my favourites of this year. So next I have a knitted piece actually, I did this one on my knitting machine. This is just a sheer mohair kind of top. I love this one as well. I love how because I use self patterning yarn all of the panels are slightly different but they match because they're all kind of the same shades. So I just think it makes it look really cool, really unique. Um, yeah, I'd say it's another favourite. Well it's definitely up there with the ones I love the most. Um, not quite as much as the sage and eucalyptus jumper but it's definitely up there. Next I have another favourite, it's this striped blue top. Everyone seems to love this as well and yeah I love it too. Like the last top I made it on my knitting machine so it's just made out of four panels and then all stitched together so it's super easy to make but yeah I just love the kind of patterning that I did. I just did it by like switching randomly between colours so there's no real method to it but I just as I said earlier with the pink and orange top I love the look of just randomly switching colours not making it so uniform I think it just gives a really cool unique look and I feel like I couldn't even make this top again exactly as it is I think it just makes it all really unique um, I could make a top similar but it's never gonna look exactly the same um, so yeah this one is definitely a solid favourite as well I feel like I'm gonna say that about a lot of these actually. So we're switching back to crochet for the next one. This is just a flower pattern sweater vest. I followed a tutorial on YouTube for this one so I'll link it below. I love the pattern of it, I just think the colour doesn't do a lot for me, I don't know. I love the pattern and I definitely want to make more of this style because I actually found it super easy once I got into it but there's just something about it. I think like doesn't quite suit me or I don't really know how to style it so yeah not quite sure but I love it I do love it and I love that it's kind of a bit different for me I feel like a lot of the things I make are quite simple and I like it that way um and this is just a little bit extra for me and I like it I might try and make it in black I feel like that might suit me a bit better but yeah I feel like this color doesn't do a lot for me I also made the same top in pink and I left some scrappy bits as well which I really like but again I don't feel like this colour does much for me either. I think when I made these tops I had Covid 
Um, so I was just like sitting in bed crocheting away. I think each of these tops took about two days to make. Like it really wasn't a long project when you're like solidly crocheting in bed, sick. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think I was just using colors. I don't know. I don't know why I went for these colours because I don't think either of them particularly suit me. I really want to make one in like black or white or like, yeah, just like more simple colours. I don't know. I love the style of them, but yeah, again, don't think it massively suits me. I am considering maybe selling those ones because I feel like a lot of work went into them, but they're just getting nowhere because, yeah, I don't think the colours do a lot for me. So next up, I have another favourite piece and this top... I didn't really know where I was going with it when I first started making it. I kind of just played it by ear and that's my favourite kind of top to make. I love playing it by ear and just kind of being a bit fun with it and being a bit free with it. So I ended up with this top which is just this really nice short sleeve crop top with like a little string across the back. I think it's super flattering. Again, love the colours. It's got more of the eucalyptus colour than any other colour. Well, it's got like a lot of white, I guess, but it's mainly like eucalyptus, white, and a little bit of the sagey colour. I just love the colour scheme. I love the design I ended up with. And yeah, I think it just proves that you don't always need to know what you're going to make because you could end up with something really fun. So we're going back to the knits now, and this is just another random striped top. This is like the same style as the blue one, just with different colours. Again, I just love how unique it is. Like, I just love making something that you can't make twice. Like, I'm never gonna make a top that exactly looks like this. I can make something super similar, but each top that I make that will look like this will be slightly different, and I just love that. Um, so yeah, there's that one. I think I prefer the blue colours, but it's quite nice to have like a warmer tone version of it. But yeah, I think the blue one is still my favourite. Maybe because it's the first one I did in that style and I think it just has a special place in my heart. Next I have something that I've grown to hate. Um, I really wanted to try making a sweater vest because for a long time I've been very against sweater vests and then they really started, I won't say appealing to me but like I just have been a bit swayed by it and I was like I want to try it but I didn't really want to buy one because I just don't know how I feel about them. So I decided to make a sweater vest and I don't like it. But I don't know if that's because I don't like the pattern slash colours that I went for or if it's like the shape or if it's just the fact it's a sweater vest. I actually don't know. But yeah, I don't really like it, which is a shame because looking at it, it's a good piece of work. It just doesn't look right on me. I do want to do more of this style of crochet where I take two colours at the same time. I do think that gives a really cool look, but yeah, I just don't love this sweater vest, which is a shame because it's just a shame. I <laughs> don't know where I was going with that. Next, I've got the first top I made on my knitting machine. It's definitely a bit rough around the edges. I didn't really know how to attach all the panels at first and like finish off projects nicely. So it's definitely a bit rough, but I do love the colors. And I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll just lean into the roughness of it and make it quite like a scruffy jumper. I'm kind of tempted to like pull some of the stitches and make it a bit distressed looking. Um, because I do love the colours, I love everything about it, I think it's just a bit rough looking around like the seams and the top and bottom and everywhere. But yeah, I love the colours, I love the shaping, it's just a little bit rough, but I think your first project doing something a bit different is always going to be a little bit rough, so I'm not really too bothered by that, and like if I decide that it's not going to get anywhere as it is, then I'll just take it apart and make it again, and I know that I can make it a lot neater. Um, so yeah, I'm yet to decide what I'm gonna do with this. I do still wear it as it is though, to be honest. Like, I'm not too bothered about the roughness of it, but yeah, I know at some point I want to do something a bit different with it, but we'll see. Next, I have another absolute fave. This is probably one of the heaviest jumpers ever. Like, it's so heavy because I use such thick wool for it. Um, but yeah, it's just this green 
top down raglan style sweater. Again, really easy to make. I don't know whether this video will be up before or after the tutorial I filmed for this, um, but if it's not up yet, there's a tutorial coming for this, or if it is already up, you can go and watch the tutorial for this. Um, but yeah, it's just a really thick woolly green jumper. This is probably one of the most expensive projects I've done because I just used really good quality wool for it. Um, I think it's probably like £70 worth of wool, um, which is quite scary to think about and kind of makes me a bit worried to wear it in case I ruin it. But it is nice to have a bit more of like a precious knit. I feel like this is saved a bit more for like special occasions. Is it? No, I'm just talking out of my ass. Um, this is just a bit more of an expensive knit, but I really like it and it's really warm and cozy. I've then got this top, which I made on my knitting machine. This was so quick and easy to make. It's literally two panels sewn together and then like some ribbing added to the top and some like double crochet done around the armholes and bottom. Like it was such a quick and easy project to make. The longest part of it was probably switching colours when doing the knitting, um, but that still wasn't that long. So I definitely think I'm going to be making way more of this style top because I love a good tank top and it was just so quick and easy to make and I feel like I can make summery tops in that way because I can just use like thinner wool. I've got a lot of lace weight yarn. I say I've got a lot of it. I've got like my two baskets of yarn here and I can't even see any, but I know that I've got a lot of like lace weight yarn so it's quite thin and delicate and like quite like these like mohair tops so if I make tank tops in this material I feel like I can still wear that in summer because it'll be light enough that it won't be too hot and sweaty um so yeah I'm excited to make more of like the tank top style because it's just so quick and easy and I think it looks great. I've then got this green crochet top which I reworked so it was a similar looking top to this and then I made it into this. Um, I have a whole video on my channel already about making this top. I love the colour of this, I think it's just such a lovely green and I don't even know what colour green to describe this as, it's just quite a musky I don't, I don't know, I'm not even going to try. Um, but yeah, love the colour of this. I love the straps across the back. I know that I've done this on like, I was going to say a few tops now, I've done it on one other top, but I think it just adds a nice bit of detail to the back of a top when you don't normally get too much detail there. I feel like most of the details are normally on the front. Um, I don't know what this was, <laughs> but yeah, love it. And if you want to know how to make it, there's already a video waiting for you. I've then got another top down raglan style jumper. They're just so easy to make and I love how they look. Um, this I made with like fluffy wool, which I think is really cute. I don't know how much I'll wear this one out and about. I really feel like it's a cozy indoor jumper. I don't know why, it just kind of gives me those vibes. Maybe I will wear it out because there's no reason why I can't, but I think because of the material and the colours, it really just strikes me as like a cozy evening jumper. But yeah, I don't know. I really like it. I think it's fun. I've then got this dress, which is a blend of knit and crochet. So it's crochet at like the bra bit and then knit all down the body. And I want to love this, I really do, but I don't. But I'm also not mad at the fact that I don't love it because it was a bit of like an experimental piece and more just to kind of work out how I want to make a dress. So I actually don't love the pattern, but I kind of knew I wouldn't love it. And I know that I want to make a dress in one solid color. I think that would look loads better or like, a colour for the bra bit and then a different colour all the way down. I think that's the kind of vibe I want to go for. I don't love this pattern, but I had the idea of making this dress this week, or like making a dress this week, but I don't have enough yarn in one colour to make a dress. So I was like, I'll work out how I want to make a dress using these colours because I had these lying around, but yeah, I just didn't have enough of one colour to make the dress how I wanted to. So yeah, this was just a bit of like an experimental piece, just kind of working out how I want to make a dress. So I'll probably end up taking this apart and reusing this yarn for other things um, and then making a dress in one solid colour or like two colours, whatever I decide. Um, but yeah, I feel like 
when you're not working to a pattern it can go a bit wrong like you can't guarantee that you're gonna like the piece because chances are you won't but yeah I needed to do this so that I could work out sizing shaping and now that I know more about how I want to size it and shape it I can get the yarn that I want to get and make the dress that I want to make um but yeah because it's like a few days till Christmas now I either have to go out to a yarn shop and all the yarn shops in London I feel are so expensive or all the yarn which won't arrive in time so yeah I just had to make this using what I had and don't love it but it's helped me to realize what I need to do in order to make a dress that I will love um the yarn won't go to waste I will take it apart and make something else or maybe I will learn to love it I don't know but yeah I feel like that was so long-winded and did I even make any sense? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I have one more piece but it's in the wash. It's just this blue crochet bralette. Um, so I'll insert a video of it anyway so you can see what it looks like. But I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've forgotten because I feel like a lot of my pieces become... <sighs> What's the word? Ingrained? No. They become so much a part of my wardrobe that I forget sometimes what I've made and what I've bought, if that makes sense. Not that I forget if I've made it or bought it, but like it just becomes so much part of my wardrobe that I might have forgotten to take it out for this video. Um, so I think that's everything. We'll go with that for now. And if I've forgotten anything, I'll just make another video and make more stuff to show in that and then show the things I forgot. So. Yeah, I feel like I'm not making any sense. I'm ill. So yeah, that is everything. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see how to make any of these pieces or how to make like similar things or just let, let me know what you want to see. I'm hoping to do many more like styling videos, weekend outfits, all of that. And I had hoped to do more of like styling videos by now back on my channel, but I've just been so ill and mainly just in bed or if I've got out of bed, I've been like wearing leggings and jumpers and not really been up for getting dressed into anything nice. Um, so yeah, styling videos and weekend outfits and all of that is coming, but I've just been sick. That's not been fun. But yeah, let me know what kind of knit and crochet content you want, but also I will be doing like styling and weekend outfits content. Just yeah, let me know if you want to see anything in particular, but otherwise I'll just carry on doing my knitting, my crocheting, my outfits, all of that jazz. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you need more of me, because who doesn't, I post regularly on TikTok, so you can go follow me on there. Um, yeah, otherwise I'll see you again soon.